Hey folks, Chris Thoreau here from Seedleaf, and I'm going to review how you export reports and use our simple data analysis spreadsheet in Google Sheets to uh, filter some of that data and get a look at it in a more granular way. So first you're gonna do is navigate to reports, select the date range you wanna export, and I'm gonna do April 1st to December 31st. Now obviously these numbers to December 31st are still theoretical, but I'm gonna do it just for demo sake. If we do the on screen, it's gonna show you the report that you are probably already familiar with here. But we are going to do the CSV and we're gonna generate that. Save that and open it up. Now, two things you need to do here. I like to just uh, set my columns. In the harvest date, uh, select that whole column, right click and go to format cells, go to date and select this format here. Uh, I'm finding other formats just aren't uh, transferring over well to Google Sheets. So uh, this is a fairly simple step. And then what you're gonna do is select all the orders without the headers. And if you just do shift uh, control and then down arrow, it'll take you to the end of the data. Control C to copy that data, and then we're going to head over to our spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet I will share with you. You're going to go to raw data sales. Click the first cell here, which is A3. Right click, paste values only. And those will paste into there. It might take a second. Sometimes the calculations can take a while. I notice uh, Google Sheets been a little funny with this spreadsheet, but hopefully I've been able to sort those out. You can see it's doing calculations there. Okay, so once that's in, first tab here uh, summarizes everything by order total, and you can see the date is messed up in that one, so I'll make sure that gets sorted. So this just breaks it all down by orders. Then you can look at sales by customer, so it breaks it down by customer customer type, the total number of orders they had, the total sales, the average per order, their minimum order, and their maximum order. Then you could look at sales by customer type, so it breaks things down a similar way. And then there are three charts here that you can take a look at. So one is individual customer sales as a percent of total sales. So here you can see obviously that farmer's market is very important. And then uh, sales by customer type as a percent of total sales. And then just looking at order values by month. So you can see a breakdown there. Then we've got a breakdown by product. So it gives you each product by size, the number of units you've sold, the total sales, and then it breaks this down by month. Remember, we just exported from April 1st on, so there's no data for here. And then we have a chart there breaking down each of those uh, products by uh, the percentage of your total sales. So we hope you find that useful. Uh, we will add some more ana analysis features in the spreadsheet in the future, so watch for that. And you can add anything you want. Simply add a new worksheet to the spreadsheet and do any analysis you want. If you come up with some stuff you really like and you want to share it with others, let me know. Uh, I can copy that from your sheet and uh, just paste it into other people's sheets.